Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIEBS home school this is Fatima Sabrin Shikha assistant teacher of national ideal English version school morning chip today I am going to take Bangladesh and global studies class for the students of class 3 on the topic of filling the blanks and short question 1 to from chapter 9 I am repeating our today's topic is filling the blanks and short question 1 to from chapter 9. This is our 8th lecture and 7th SW. I am again repeat this is our 8th lecture and 7th SW. Students for today's class take your Bangladesh and Global Studies book, notebook and writing elements. First we will do some fill in the blanks and then we'll do short question one two you have to write them in your notebook so let's start first we'll do fill in the blanks from chapter nine our first gap is a map that shows hills and rivers is called a dash map students go to page number 52 and lesson 2 look here a map that shows hills and rivers is called a physical map so from lesson 2 we find the answer so in the gap we have to write physical p h y s i c a l physical so the sentence will be a map that shows hills and rivers is called a physical map number two dhaka city was first built about dash years ago students can you say the answer okay come to lesson one page number 15 look here it is an old city which was first built about 400 years ago. Here the line is about Dhaka city. So Dhaka city was first built about 400 years ago. So in the gap we have to write 400. So sentence will be Dhaka city was first built about 400 years ago. Number three, using water for agriculture is called dash. Students, I hope you know the answer. Using water for agriculture is called irrigation. You will find this answer in, in lesson three, page number 54. Look here, using water for agriculture is called irrigation. Spell the word I double R I G A T I O N. Irrigation. So in the gap, we have to write irrigation. I double R I G A T I O N. N, irrigation. So the sentence will be using water for agriculture is called irrigation. Now number four, jute and tea are dash crops. Students will find the answer from lesson four, page number 56. Come to this line, jute and tea are cash crops. Again, jute and tea are cash crops. So, in the gap, we have to write cash. C A S H. Cash. Jute and tea are cash crops. So, students now will learn short question 1, 2. Our first short question is, what is the area of Bangladesh? Which country apart from India has borders with Bangladesh? The answer is the land area of Bangladesh is 1,47,570 square kilometers. 
most of it is flat. Besides India, Myanmar has borders with Bangladesh. Students, I'm repeating the answer again. The land area of Bangladesh is 1,47,570 square kilometers. Most of it is flat. Besides India, Myanmar has borders with Bangladesh. Now students, come to short question 2. Where do the rivers of Bangladesh finally fall in? The answer will be, there are many rivers in Bangladesh. They spread over the country like a wave. The small rivers start in the hills and flow down. They join with each other to make big rivers. Finally, the big rivers fall into the Bay of Bengal. I'm again repeating the answer. There are many rivers in Bangladesh. They spread over the country like a web. The small rivers start in the hills and flow down. They join with each other to make big rivers. Finally, the big rivers fall into the Bay of Bengal. Students, your homework will be short question 1 2. It means short question what is the area of Bangladesh which country apart from India has borders with Bangladesh and skill 2 where do the rivers of Bangladesh finally fall in. So these two questions will be your homework. Students, don't forget to write the lecture number and homework number at the top of the corner of your copy. Students, do your homework in your SW copy. You have to submit your SW copies on every Sunday and collect your SW copies on next Sunday. Guardian or anyone else can submit your copies. You need to be serious about your homework because you will get your city, diary and SPMRs on the basis of the submission of your homeworks. That's all for today. Hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practicing at home and abide by your parents. Stay well and see you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.